Okay, the next step is we are going to be painting our ones. This is our lightest value. So on my lightest value, I'm going to add a lot of white to my red. So in order to do this, I'm going to take a little bit of red and add it to my white here. So I'm just going to scoop it, try not to mix it. Make sure you make more than you think you need because you're not you're going to be able to match up that exact color every single time. Also, this is the lightest value you're going to make, so you need to make sure it is light enough that I can still make a color in between for number two tomorrow. Okay. I also need to make sure that I don't see any swirls in it. It's fully mixed together. Otherwise, I'm going to get different values as I go to paint it. So, my first step is I'm going to paint, hold it like a pencil. I'm going to outline this area and fill it in. Nice clean edges and lines. So then tomorrow I will make a value in between my red and my wand. Set that aside to dry. The next step is I'm going to find all of my ones on here. My ones are all the highlights on my hair, so in order to do this, I'm going to erase. I can still see it a little bit, but I don't want to be able to tell what color it was before. And then I'm going to paint. I hold it like a pencil, tippity top of the paintbrush. And then I go and fill it in. Nice clean edges and lines. And when I do my background, I can just go right up against it. So I'm going to do this section up here as well. This is a wand. I'm going to brush the eraser marks away. I need to erase first because I cannot erase after. I've already painted. I'm going to rotate my picture so I can get more space. There is my paintbrush. Nice clean edges and lines. I have more control when I hold it like a pencil. you have your value scale painted and I have more than enough to finish up my ones. If they don't turn out well, I can still add another layer of them tomorrow.